I'm here with Stephen Minutones, founder of the World Open Water Swimming Association, or WOWZA, also a marathon swimming historian. We are days away from the Tokyo Olympic Games, so we're profiling the 25 men and 25 women competing in the Olympic 10K marathon swim in Adaibo Marine Park. Today, we're talking about Paola Perez, uh, Venezuela. Stephen, tell us about Paola. Yes, this 30-year-old from Venezuela is a two-time uh, Olympic marathon swimmer. She got 19th in Rio, just right behind uh, Michelle Weber. Um, she got 17th in the uh, secondary Olympic qualifier in uh, Portugal uh, uh, last month. And so uh, she's right there in that end of the secondary pack, the trailing pack. Um, as 30 years old, you know, she's been around for a long time. Uh, I mean, she swims in great places. Um, uh, she swims in the uh, Boulevard Games in Peru. Uh, you know, she swims in South American Games, uh, you know, that is held all over South America. Uh, she's uh, representing her country in the Central American and Caribbean Games, the Pan American Games. Um, uh, she, you know, obviously um, competed in Coca Cabana Beach in Brazil at the 2016 Olympics. Um, so she has that Olympic experience. But she's been around. She, you know, uh, swam swam in Korea, Russia, Argentina, uh, Mexico, Spain. Um, so, you know, and she's always been in that sort of, uh, you know, I'd say mid-teen to uh, mid-20 uh, group of people, uh, of swimmers. Um, very, you know, extremely accomplished swimmer. She just unfortunately has, <laughs> she's developed at a time when there is no greater number of great, truly great his, uh, swimmers in history. The, this women's field is so stacked. There are so many great swimmers who have been devoting the last 10 years for this one race. Uh, so is Paula, but I mean, this field is stacked. Yeah, that's tough. She's, she's up against the best of the best. Um, so Stephen, how, how does someone like that approach a race like this knowing that there's so many greats in, in the water with her. Yeah, although, you know, these are among uh, history's fastest uh, swimmers in the open water. Um, Paula has actually competed against all of them several times. So they are not unfamiliar with her. She understands exactly how they swim, how fast they are. And it is a celebration of the very best. Um, she knows she's amongst the very best. Um, you know, she's representing herself, uh, her family, the country of Venezuela, and she'll swim very proudly and, and to the best of her abilities. And the best of her abilities are basically hanging on, you know, to the, the lead pack for as long as, as she can, just like, you know, the, the women that are roughly at her same uh, uh, level of ability, the Michelle Webbers of the world and others and they'll just hang on as much as possible and that's why when we watch the olympics in odaiba marine park there's going to be a mass of of swimmers in a pack there will be thrashing arms and kicking strongly and then gradually you know you go loop one loop two loop three loop four one by one the main pack will will uh, pull off from the, the trailing pack. And then they'll have two packs, possibly even three packs. And, and her job, uh, just like those other, you know, top 20 uh, swimmers in the world, her job and she knows her responsibility and her competitive zeal will make her want to hang on to that main pack for as long as possible. I think it'll be around the fourth or fifth loop when that pack starts to break apart and you know it paula will if she has a great swim you know she'll be competitive with that with that secondary trailing group all right steven so final predictions for paola in tokyo i think as a 30 year old you know this this will be a, her probably her last olympics uh, she's going to have a great swim but i don't see her cracking the top 20. all right we'll be watching august 4th Thanks so much, Stephen. Thank you.